up pressure washers. So I have two pictures of concrete right here. I have the one on the left and I have the one on the right. The one on the right is a piece of concrete that has been cleaned and the one on the left is not. So I had a live the other day and I'm going to start doing lives on Sunday mornings. I haven't decided on Sunday morning or Sunday night. Comment down in the below which would you rather have a Q&A um, questions and a live down in, in on a Sunday. I had pretty good, um, I had quite a few people show up for the live on Sunday morning. Um, so I may do it again on Sunday morning, but if not, I will do it on um, Sunday nights. Um, Sunday nights is actually might be a little bit easier for me to make sure that I can get there. So in this, if you have a question for me, the best place to do it is at pressurewashhelp.com slash slash ask Jason, A-S-K Jason, J-A-S-O-N. And that will send you to a form that I will then get those questions and then I will answer those questions on the live, on, on that live. So on this on live, he was asking about, if you look at the picture in the middle here, um, or the one on the right, it has some um, splotchy, spotchy looking stuff. You know, the concrete doesn't look nice and white. And what can he do to make it all look even? So there's a couple things with this picture right here. If you're looking at the one on the right, down toward the bottom, I don't know if you'll, my mouse will show, in this area right here, it looks like at one point in time, somebody had maybe pressure washed. You can see the individual lines coming down through here, all them individual lines. And they could have been pressure washing with a white tip. And with a white tip, you're actually digging into the concrete. You're actually taking that top layer off. And if you see over here, this is the coating of the concrete or that top layer of concrete, which is also called when you're pouring the concrete, the cream of the concrete. And what happens is this is why we don't ever want to use pressure on any concrete that is, I, you know, if you want to stay safe is eight, eight months old, eight months to a year old, because at, at that, before that time, there is a chance that you will take that cream right off. And I mean, it don't take much pressure at all, um, especially if it's a new concrete, three months old, you can take just low pressure and you'll be able to knock that cream off. So what that is, is that is the way that concrete was poured. It could be a couple things. It could be um, when they pour the concrete, sometimes it can be a bad pour. And if it's a bad pour, or if it rained, if it's cold, if it's, there's a lot of things that can cause our cream to not look um, the way we want it to look. There is one thing we can do to make it all look white um, 100%. And that would be to use an acid. Um, I would probably start out with a light acid, like an oxalic acid. Um, it's pretty cheap. You can get it at um, you can get it at you can get it on Amazon. I'll put a link down below if I can find it, um, and I'll put a link down in there. Um, and you can find this stuff at Amazon. Um, you could go a little bit stronger and use some like F9, and that'll make it all look white. Um, you could use some aluminum brightener. You can use muriatic. Just be careful, guys. This stuff is acid. You got nice grass. It's going to kill the grass. Um, this stuff is bad stuff. You know, oleic acid and F9 um, isn't, um, oleic acid isn't near as bad as F9 is. F9 is probably your most safest past oleic acid once you start getting into the strong acids. So that is something that you could do to make it all turn white. Is it going to be bright white? It's going to be pretty white and it's going to get it. But basically what's happened here is the top coat of that concrete is garbage. Rather, they use the pressure washer over here and just pressure wash the crap out of it, which that's what I'm guessing. Or if it's, um, because you can see right here, there is no of the coating. Because the coating, that top coat or the cream is this, um, the white stuff right here. And basically, you can see where it's been pressure washed and hammered away. 
if you get down in here down into these further ones you can see that it's a little bit better down there um, so um, if you have any questions to ask me you can go to pressurewashhelp.com slash ask Jason and I will answer your questions and get them answered for you um, with that being said go check out um, my new membership site for pressure washing and Christmas lights if you are thinking about doing Christmas lights um, you can go check out um, pressurewashhelp.com slash webinar and I'll have all these links down below and where you can find out more information about that stuff